Motion Effects makes it easy to have custom transitions within your scenes. It gives you a more professional look in your stream to grab new viewers attention. Yeah, it's possible you can buy overlay themes that have scene transitions in them, but with motion effects, you can animate your own scene transitions by yourself. And I'm gonna show you how to do it, so let's get into it. What's up all you awesome streamers, wild for games here to make sure your stream is going to be bigger and better. And in this video right here, I'm going to show you how to add and customize motion effects scenes transitions. So let's jump right into it. So if you're not sure what a motion effect is, quite simply, it's a transition that will animate a source that is present in more than one scene. For example, I have my gameplay in multiple scenes. Instead of a traditional cut or fade, it moves from one location to the other. If the sources that exist in one and not the other, they will zoom in and out instead. This makes for some pretty cool looking animated scenes. To add a scene transition, open Streamlabs OBS and click on the cogwheel in the scene selection tab. In the scene transition menu, click on add transition. Then click on type and scroll down until you see motion. The duration field determines how long the source will take to get from one spot to another. The acceleration sliders will make your source start faster and slow down or start slow and speed up, depending on how you set it up. With motion effects, you can give your stream that extra little professional pop that's gonna make it stand out. Now, if you need to know any other capabilities that Streamlabs can provide to you, I'm gonna put a couple of videos up here on screen to help you out. Once again, my name's Wild for Games, making sure you're bigger and better with Streamlabs. And I will see all you awesome people in the next video. Take care, and of course, peace.